Here we go again. Now we are up and running in this men's 15,000 meter elimination race. It'll be pretty much a predictable format through the first nine or 10,000 meters. They'll all take a turn at the front. They'll all take their time. They'll conserve their energy. They'll work in the slipstream, all working effectively together. And then the race will transform and it will become a physical, aggressive series of bursts and sprints as we try and avoid being the last skater over the line at the elimination points. So, very steady here, of course. Our swings is just tucked in there. Well, here he goes again. Oh, the German decides, you know what, let's just shake things up a little bit if we possibly can. So, Reinen goes off all on his own. Now, I don't think the others will be too bothered. Hello, somebody's after him. Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Reinen has really shaken the pack up here. And uh, Elton D'Souza, the Frenchman, has decided, I don't know what he's up to, but I don't like it, and I'm going to go after him. And that has woken everybody else up. So the steady, sedate procession that we were expecting, we're not getting. Now, this could be absolute chaos if this carries on. We could have skaters all over this track. And goodness knows how the adjudicators are going to keep a track of who's where. Now D'Souza's tucked in. Now, if these two are really clever, they could work together to more or less potentially slipstream with each other to keep this healthy lead. They can avoid all the elimination dramas. They eliminate all the way down to the final five. And when you get to that point, it's then just a dash for the medals. But uh, Lyman continuing to lead the way, but I think they are slowly but surely closing the gap on these two. Reiner's just having a look around now to see where everybody is. We saw Reiner do this in one of the heats. And it wasn't long before he got dragged back, and I'm not sure they are closing, you know. I think they've all just settled down again, the uh, remaining 20 skaters here. They're in no great rush. They're looking around at the other two. They're saying, what on earth are you guys doing? This is a 15,000 metre elimination race. Has nobody told you? Well, they don't care. Ryan has got his own tactics. And D'Souza has decided, I don't know what that guy knows, but he knows something, and I'm going to go with him. Now, whether this proves to be good tactics or whether it proves to be disastrous, we wait to see. But it certainly made things interesting and lively. You would think the Sousa ought to take his share of lead duties, but I haven't seen Reinen look behind him and tell him. I mean, you will get verbal conversation going on. Hey, come on, do your bit. And at the moment, though, Reinen just seems quite happy, and D'Souza is more than happy. I mean, he's half the size of the German anyway. So he is just tucked in behind him, and he's having a really easy time of things. And one or two of the back markers are in danger of being overhauled here, so it really is. It's getting very, very interesting indeed. They are spread all over here. Confirmation that Albrecht didn't start, nor did Andres Jimenez, the gold medalist in the 1,000 metres. Milka Alejandro Pace, he's not here either. But Felix Reinen is here. Elton D'Souza is here. Now there's. I was going to say there's plenty of other skaters chasing them, but there doesn't seem to be any sense of urgency from the group whatsoever. So Jan Sviatek, the pole, has already withdrawn. He's eliminated himself before the elimination points have been reached. There's a long, long, long way to go. And I think maybe that's why these guys are saying, well, let's take it easy. But you know what? 
the way these two are skating, they can just tuck in there, sit with the peloton and just say, OK, catch us if you can. Absolutely fascinating. Now we've got somebody else deciding it's time to have a go. Well, somewhere in that group of the leaders. There they are. And now somebody else has gone off. Art oh, Swings is leading the way in the chasing group, and I think they've uh, decided, yeah, let's see if we can drop a few more here. Let's see just how our two leaders are feeling. And there is a gap opening up there. Reinen unable to uh, close that gap, but now it's slowed down again, and that allows the German and D'Souza tucked in behind him to just draw their breath a little bit. D'Souza's played a very, very canny game here. He's just hidden away. Wherever reinen has gone, he's stuck with him. And he's less than a metre from the big German, wherever he goes. It's clever from D'Souza. Ewan Fernandez somewhere in this group. And there he is, the other Frenchman. And definitely a, a medal contender under normal circumstances. Now we have two medalists from last year's World Championship final. Peter Michael being one of them, he's in second place there behind Bart Swings. There's Ken Kuwada as well, the Argentinian, and those distinctive blue and white stripes. Well, still such a long way to go, of course, but right now, Reinen and D'Souza have played their trump card. They've got themselves a full lap on these guys, and off we go again. And it's the Argentinian that's decided to see what he can do just to uh, shake things up a little bit. He's away and gone. Now, we saw in the 10,000-meter point elimination race just how smart and clever tactically he can be. So he's decided... Let's see if we can just open things up a little bit. If Reinen and D'Souza are going to feel any fatigue from the effort they put in, let's see if we can take it out of their legs. But there are the two leaders. And I don't think they'll do any more than just stay there if they possibly can. Now, there's a little group of five that are trying to get away. A small gap has opened up. A very small gap, it has to be said. One of the Italians in there. Leading the way. And every time that was, uh, I think that was uh, Nero at the head of the group. Now Peter Michael decides, you know what, this is my title and I'm going to defend it. And that's producing a response from the group, including Reinen and D'Souza. We'll have to wait and see if they can get the German and the Frenchman out of this group. That's the only way they can overhaul them, of course. Swings, joins Michael at the head of affairs. Now a little bit of a gap. Now, this is where it's going to get really tough for these two as we've got something like 47 laps still to go. They put in a big, big effort to get that lap lead. And is it going to cost them now that the counter-attack is coming? Martin Diaz, a Portuguese skater, has had enough. It's getting very, very hot. And it's getting really hot for D'Souza and Reinen. Reinen in particular looks like he's starting to come apart. Now Peter Michael. Now there's the two leaders. But it looks already that their gamble is going to backfire spectacularly. They must look at the lap counter and say 44 laps and their hearts must be sinking. Well, they've still got a healthy lead, but that is just being cut and cut and cut as this leading group continues to work together. And they've got so much time just to drag the leaders back. to Souza finally, belatedly, giving Reinen a hand. But Reinen really looks like he's suffering. So swings leading the way. 
They've got uh, Jorge Bolaños via court of Ecuador for company and Ewan Fernandez, the other Frenchman in that group as well. Stefano Maresci and Livio Venga could be a dark horse. The Swiss silver medalist in the point elimination race. He's well placed too. So some genuine medal prospects in that chasing group. And these two, their fates are sealed together. Somehow they've managed to hold on there. But you think there will be another attack at some point. They will take deep, deep breaths. Those two at the back of this group. Remember, they have a lap advantage over the rest of the field. And it looked as if the likes of Swings and Fernandez, Michael, Wenger were going to really pour it on and take it back. But then they've settled down again. And that is great news for D'Souza and Reinen. You can be pretty sure that they won't be uh, taking any turns at the front of this group. They'll just sit back. Well, if Reinen does get a medal out of this, it will prove to be an inspired move to attack like that the way he did. And the same for D'Souza. If he gets a medal, he made the early decision. In fact, he was the only skater that made any kind of effort just to get in touch with Reinen. It was a brave and gutsy piece of front running from the big German. And they've slowed it right down again. Now uh, we've had weather, to say the least, coming through Wroclaw today. And there was some doubt about whether these races would actually manage to take place. Dark clouds are looming around the Millennium Park. Not that they're visible in that shot, but they are lurking. More noticeable in that shot, and away we go. Once again, I think this is uh, Bolaños via court looking to lead the way. And hello, here we go. They've turned on the afterburners again. Elton, let's go, is safe, Felix Reinen. We've got to try and stay with this. But I wonder, those four or five laps that they just took it easy there. Tremendous benefit that to Reinen and D'Souza. The longer they can just see this peloton just coasting around the better their prospects will be another little burst of pace Michael just with an injection of pace as we get down to 32 laps to go and the build up continues to the elimination stage and that's when we'll really get to see what Reinen and D'Souza have left this is a comfortable stroll at the moment and it slows right down again we've lost a couple more Diogo Morairoche has withdrawn so he'll join Martin Diaz on the sidelines and Julio Mireña of Venezuela he's gone as well so we continue to lose riders before the elimination points looks like about 14 left that's exactly what it is as Swings leads the way with Moreshi tucked in behind him. Now the Italian hits the front. And these two, Reinen and D'Souza, the leaders, remember, they are at the back of this group, but they have a lap to play with. So with all those withdrawals, that's going to delay the elimination process. And now Livio Venga decides to take it on. Little Elton D'Souza there, right at the back, in his favoured position, tucked in behind big Felix Reinen. Anthony Nalda, the other New Zealander, still in the race as well, not expected to be one of the key players in this game, unlike his compatriot, of course, Peter Michael. Now, when will Michael decide to take this on? Will he decide to take it on? 
he's got himself to the front and there's another injection of pace. Swings is looking around in second place behind him. They're both keeping an eye on the Argentinian. And the pace drops again. And look at D'Souza just standing up and saying, well, if you're going to give me breathers like this, I'm taking them. And it slows down. D'Souza now looking really comfortable. Reinen facially not looking so comfortable, but he has managed to hold it together. There was a moment about 10 laps ago where you wondered if he was starting to really feel it. But then when D'Souza went past him, that seemed to give him fresh legs. And he's revived as we get down to the final 5,000 kilometers and we continue to tick down to the first of our eliminations. There will be a delay, of course, as Mourinho, Mariah Raj, Diash, the other pole, Pavel Chishki, he's gone as well, Sviatek. Both the poles have left already. And that leaves this group. The two men at the back, if you are just joining this race, are not the back markers. They are the leaders. They have a full lap over the remaining 12 in front of them. But there are some really fast skaters ahead of these two. It remains to be seen whether the big gamble from Felix Reinen, the big German in the red, and his shadow behind him, Elton D'Souza, the Frenchman, will that gamble pay a dividend or will they pay for their audacity? Peter Michael, the reigning World Games champion, the reigning world champion. Leading him round. Bart Swings is behind him. Daniel Nero and Stefano Moreschi, the two Italians, are up there along with Ewan Fernandez. And Pachi Pula, the Spaniard. He's still in the mix. There's the bell. Now, let's see if Reinen and D'Souza can stay with these guys. And this is where it's going to get really confusing because if those two are last to cross the line, don't forget they've got that lap advantage. Right now, it looks as if Huang Yu Lin is the man that's struggling. So still that big, big lead for these two. So the elimination claims another victim. And here we go again. There'll be another one going momentarily as the two Italians decide to join forces Nero leading Moreschi these two still sticking around and I'll tell you what Elton D'Souza looks really fresh right at the back Huang has indeed gone that's confirmed his race is run we will lose another one soon these two sitting at the back but still in touch with the group some 17 seconds to the good there's another bell now these two starting to open up a gap now Reinen and D'Souza can't let this happen as we continue to look at the elimination as well we've got to keep an eye on these two they can't get detached they've rejoined it out goes another one that's Son Yun Song of Korea his disappointing world games continues Another one bites the dust. Out goes Son. We have 12 still standing. We will continue to eliminate until there are five left. Now another gap starts to open up. Can Reinen and D'Souza stay with it as we reach the elimination phase of this 15,000 meter race? This is where it's going to get really tough for them. So far, so good. That looks like Anthony Nalda might have uh, met his match. He's gone. So we continue to tick him off, but we've still got the likes of Fernandez, Swings, Peter Michael, of course, Ken Kuwada, Livio Wenger. We would expect them to be the medal contenders, but right now, Reinen and D'Souza are still hanging around. They just won't go away. And at the moment, it's still looking good for them. Because anybody who wants to attack those two is going to have to come from a long, long, long way back. 
We continue to lose contenders. Livio Venga, the Swiss silver medalist in the 10,000 meter points elimination race. He's gone. Here comes another attack. Look at Reinen and D'Souza trying to stay with it. And I think that might have been the Spaniard, Bachi Pula. They might have got his number there. These two still there. It's a very small field now. Pula's well, still going. I thought they'd got him, but no. Jorge Bolaños Villacourt that's gone. So Pachi Pula survives the man in the uh, red and white. He's still there. Will he be there at the end? And still it's looking good for Ryan and D'Souza. There's another attack. Somebody has decided, you know what? Time to make my move, and it's Pachi Pula that's gone for it. Gutsy from him. We are still in the elimination phase. We have first and second at the back of the lead group. Third has made a break. Here goes the bell once again. Pula's obviously decided, well, I'm not going to get caught out here. Maybe they're all so busy watching each other that I can steal a march, but it looks like it's already proving a little bit too difficult for him, and he's slowing it down, taking a breather. He's going to cross the line, making sure he's okay. But still, Reinen and D'Souza sticking around. Pula is sending up a distress flare there. He looks in terrible trouble, doesn't he, the Spaniard? And now, Reinen and D'Souza have been dropped. And this is where it's going to get really interesting. Swings leads the chasing pack. Michaels and Fernandez right with him. So too, Daniel Nero. Pula looks like he's gone. Ewan Fernandez is struggling badly as well. So too, though, are the leaders, Reinen and D'Souza. We are down to just six. Only one man will be eliminated now. One of these four is going to go. Can Reinen and D'Souza hang on here? Which one of these four is going to go? It's close and it swings that's gone. So now we have our survivors. Reinen and D'Souza will be hunted down by Peter Michael, Ewan Fernandez, and Daniel Niero. And the bad news for our two leaders as D'Souza decides it's time to go for it. Michael and Fernandez, both medalists in the World Championships a year ago, and Fernandez is hunting these two down, but D'Souza, who has been conserving his energy and working behind Reinen, has made a critical move. These three don't look like they're going to be able to catch him. Nowhere near. What a race that was from Elton D'Souza. And what a story as well for Felix Reinen, who takes second place. His bravery earns him a medal, and it's all about who's going to get third. And that third place goes to Peter Michael.